I guess, well, just bring us up to speed with what happened and what you've done so far. Okay. On CBS is a show called Tough as Nails. This is Tough as Nails. And it's a show that's about hardworking Americans. It's like a game show, I guess, where the they- People don't work hard in other countries? <laughs> yeah, well, take that up <laughs> Not with them. Not according to CBS. <laughs> but they compete in like, you know, contests of like, who can pave this sidewalk the fastest? Something, blue, something. celebrating blue collar work. Apparently, I've never, I've never watched it. I didn't even know about it. Yeah. But I got an email from someone that said, I saw your rocking chair on Tough as Nails. It's awesome or something. It's a very cool chair. And I was like, wow, what's Tough as Nails? So I looked it up and that morning, I scrubbed through the latest episode and at the end of the episode, they do a challenge where they have to put together the seat of a rocking chair. An overtime challenge. That's right. It was an overtime I'm challenge. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. <laughs> what if this is just an ad, right? For like, <laughs> for Tuppence Nails. Well, this is nice. a great viral marketing. <laughs> yeah. So we'll steal your design that you get real mad about. So we watched it, and sure enough, there's my rocking chair. My rocking chair, though I don't think it's any sort of insane cutting-edge design, it was. it's unique enough, and the one in the episode was exactly the same. It's easy to spot. Yes. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, that is my design. And so we watched the episode, or that part of the episode, kept thinking, oh, they're gonna say, you know, how did, how did this guy yeah. find my website? They're gonna say my name, or I'm gonna be in the credits. Sure enough, no sign of, of any mention of me. If they did, we missed it. If you Google plywood rocking chair, you're gonna find my yeah. chair. So enough people right. saw it and went, oh, cool chair, and Googled it, found me. Um, so I got a couple other emails. It was a situation where if they had mentioned me, I think it would have been good for my business. As I was watching, I was thinking, this is awesome. Like, how, what an exciting thing to have my furniture on national television. And when there was no mention of me, that's when I had the feeling of, well, that wasn't that awesome because yeah, my hard work uh, you know, is not right. Being... If let, let's pretend that your thing isn't out there or they know they can't just take somebody's thing, the alternative would be, okay, we need to hire a designer. And so how much yeah. does that cost CBS to do? Probably a lot. I would think a lot. Um, they could hire a designer, pay them a lot of money to design something. They could contact me, pay me a lot less than that and use my design, or they could just take my design and they decided to do that. <laughs> I, I mean, I, you know, I, to be fair, I offer this design for this chair for people to make, a random person to make it in their garage for themselves or for a gift. And it's a totally different thing for a massive corporation to take it and profit off of it and use it in a TV show. And we've always said with our plans and stuff, people email us, can I sell these? And we say, if you're gonna sell a couple, you know, to friends or you know, right. here and there, that's fine. But we've always said, if you're trying to run a business doing yeah. this, like. Yeah. It doesn't set a good foundation right. for longevity. Or if, if Ikea all of a sudden starts selling yes. a Savato dresser, yeah, we probably don't have much recourse, but that's, that's the situation where we're really right. perturbed about it. Yeah, I always say like if you chose to do what we do and you get butt hurt by, can you say butt hurt? about um, people taking your design and just building it, which yeah. some people do, like you got in the wrong line of business. Definitely. That's kind of the reason we do this is we share designs. Definitely. But CBS doing it is very different from an individual and, doing it and, and saying like, look what I built. That's the thing. I love seeing people making our stuff. That's, that's part of the reason why I got into this was to share ideas, share designs. And it's part of the community aspect, which is really rewarding. But then, yeah, to see CBS do it um, is a totally different yeah. feeling. I wrote um, a little letter, sent it to a few people on the show, to straight to the like production Source. manager or whatever. Didn't hear anything, anything back. I followed up with them. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I let it go for <clears throat> two weeks almost, a week and a half. Yeah. No so response. We, we feel pretty confident they've had the opportunity to see this before we ever posted yeah, anything yeah, on yeah. Instagram I, or anything. I certainly didn't want this to be a... Someone's I, getting I, fired. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, not, I'm not in this to... I don't want it to be a big public thing. All I really wanted was to talk to them, ask them why they made the decision they made. I am not really looking for any like compensation or anything. That would be nice, but... So like the ultimate outcome, I guess, would be like, you can't continue to do this kind of stuff. 
Or if you do want to do this stuff, work with the people right. who are actually doing it. That's, like that, that makes it more that's exactly authentic. My initial letter to them, it, it was probably a little more strongly worded than I feel let's have, now. Let's have Sean read it, but let's do it in a like World War One um, style. Hi, my name is Sean Boyd. I was made aware of the latest Tough episode nails. of Tough as Nails because of, one of my, my furniture designs, designs, my plywood rocking chair was used in an overtime challenge to finish the episode. It was exciting to see my work being highlighted by a major television network. But that excitement was quickly extinguished when there was no mention of me or my business. Essentially steal a furniture design and present it as their own. The hypocrisy is thick. I'm not really sure where I hope this mess is. Mess Two C's? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then I did that like emo emoticon but <laughs> <laughs> So like I said, like I, I say it in here, I'm I'm not I'm not really looking for anything more than just an acknowledgement and a conversation. An attempt to do my tiniest little part to maybe change how someone who has some power in T V production looks at how they use things they find on the internet. And so that's that's kind of where we're at now. So then obviously people respond, oh man, I can't believe I did, that you yeah. need to get a lawyer, blah, 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 blah. It, which... got, it got a significant response, which I kind of figured it would, but um, I'm not super active on Instagram. So I was like, I don't know, maybe it'll, maybe this is just a shot into the darkness and no one, yeah. no one cares. I know very little about patenting copyright, designs yeah. and copyright and, es and especially furniture, but I know enough. I've... <laughs> I've listened to a couple podcasts and I know that furniture design historically has been very difficult to, I think you can get patents, but to uphold them is almost impossible. I know that, like I, I'm, I, I never was um, intending to go the legal route. It's the moral route. I just want the people at this show to know what they did. Right. And if that, if that changes anyone's mind, great. If it changes no one's mind, that sucks, but at least this is fun. <laughs> so, so if there's no real intention of taking it to the courtroom, right? and you already kind of have, but maybe we do it in a way where there, it's a little more quantitative rather than qualitative, yeah. and we take it to the court of public opinion. So we make a post. We'll try to be as unbiased as possible. We can say like, here is this, here is this, here's the situation. Um, and then we could maybe make it where it's like a multiple choice thing mm -hmm. or or maybe it's just yes or no. Like, did they steal Sean's design right. in your opinion?